Hey, hello, this is Andrea, and today is Friday. Yay! Woo! I love Friday. It's my favorite day of the week. It's like the gateway to the weekend. All the unexpected things that could happen. <laughs> well, I guess unexpected things could happen any day. But, uh, yeah, yesterday... Ray and I went to, well, we went to the Dollar Tree, and then we went to the thrift store, which is like, it's like what they call charity shops in the UK. So, you buy used stuff. So let me show you what I got. Look at all this. <laughs> this is my thrift store haul. So I got this compass. Well, it says it's called a bow compass. I've been looking for one of these for a while. Because when I was a kid, we called them a com we called it a compass. You know, it's for drawing a circle. But this says bow compass. I don't know. So that was 49 cents. I don't even know where the thing is. Okay. And I got this. It's like um, some vintage papers for crafting and I don't know what I paid because it says 49 cents but the name of the thrift store is Liberty Thrift and it says 50 cents so I might have paid a penny extra I don't <laughs> I didn't open it yet though it looks like it says it's primary primary church school leaflets and this thing this looks like I have a couple of these music boxes that are like German music boxes with these kind of pictures on them that belong to Bob's mom. And uh, I think that's what this picture in the front is. This is the full bag. They just wrapped it up even smaller. So there's that. Oh, it's a postcard. Oh, it has German writing on the back of it. Look at this. What does it say? I'm gonna mess up German. Unsern lieben Louis Z. Reinen? Gebert's Tag? Wir lieb Grüße? I don't know what I'm saying. Van Reimen? Lieben? Opa? Uma, Uma. So that's grandma, grandpa, and grandma. And Lieben, I mean, I can't remember if that means love or dear. So I guess it's from a grandma and a grandpa. <sighs> if you know better German, maybe you know. So. Oh, look at look at how cute some of these pages are. <laughs> In the Sunday school leaflet. Oh, and here's another page. What? Oh, she broke a dish. Uh-oh. <laughs> She's going to get in trouble. <laughs> That's the way it was when I was a kid. If you broke a dish. I don't I don't have that. I don't have <laughs> I don't have that rule in my house. You know why? I am so clumsy. I break so much stuff, you have no idea. Unless you do it on purpose, you're not in trouble. Then I got this book it says traditional, oops, traditional samplers. So it's been years since I made a cross-stitch sampler, but I like to read these books because it'll show you samplers from different countries and different cultures and show you stitch. It's, okay, so here's one. Here's like a, here's a baby, uh, a baby announcement or whatever you would call that. Anyway. And this, this is the thing I'm most excited about. I've already opened it once, but it is, it's a, it's a Happy Planner sticker storage book. And I only paid $2.99 for it. It had the stickers all, I mean, you know, it had the stuff that closes it off on here. I've already opened it once. So it had all the things inside of it. I mean, this is, this is all really it comes with. It's got the discs and then it has some labels and some dividers 
And then in the back, it has these pages that you can mount your sticker pages to. Anyway, anytime I find the Happy Planner stuff at a good price, I get it because I use the pieces for other things with my Happy Planner stuff. So I'm pretty happy with all that. Usually when I go to the thrift store, I'm just sitting there waiting for Ray because Ray tries on all these different clothes. And uh, I'm not a big clothes person. I just replace clothes when they wear out. So say this shirt, if this shirt wears out, <laughs> this is one of my oldest shirts. I don't think it's going to wear out. It's like really good quality. <laughs> I sound so weird. I like to wear them shirts out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do that with cars too. I just, we'll just keep a car till it's done. You know, we take good care of it. You know, we get the regular oil change and we get stuff fixed on it, but it's such a, um, cars are not an investment. You know, you know what I'm saying? They don't go up in value. There's very few that do, and they're usually vintage cars, and you have to not drive them very far, so it, it negates the purpose of having a car. I mean, I love cars, so I would love to have a vintage car, but I would probably never drive it anywhere. See what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Anyway, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> uh, I don't think we got any plans for this weekend, but I still haven't put up my new, um, I still haven't put up my new compost, um, thing. So I have to put that up. So maybe I'll do that this weekend. And I still haven't finished hanging things up in the living room. That's why I haven't shown it yet, so. Ah, what do you got planned for this weekend? It's really overcast here. I don't know if it's going to rain or what, what's going to happen. But anyway, I guess that's all I have for today. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.